Kitchen Underground, how y'all doing tonight? It's me, JS, um, LJ working on some videos. Uh, I hope today was kind to you and I hope tonight was even kinder because down here in Miami has been very kind to us. Just let's say, let's go boys. Miami Heat, finally uh, Eastern Conference Finals, first time since we had, uh, uh, had the big three. So we excited and that's what's gonna make this uh, this is like a little bonus because I know I just did the chicken trio video for you, but I had some more wings left over. So we're gonna do some bring the heat wings, you know, dedicated to the Miami Heat. Hopefully we make it through these finals and we can have like the ultimate year. We making history this year, hopefully, possibly. First time uh, finals have been held in a bubble. So let's see if we can burst that bubble this year. Either way, like I said, we're doing bring the heat wings, just some wings. Gonna be tossing like a, a chipotle habanero uh, jalapeno. It's gonna be a nice, nice uh, creative sauce. So we'll see the ingredients in a little bit. It's, there's a few ingredients, but we're taking two of the techniques that I showed you last time. We're gonna fry up the chicken wings first, about three quarters of the way done, and then we're gonna finish sauteing them the final quarter of the way, uh, quarter of the way, so we can get a lot of that flavor sucked up into them uh, wings and uh, make it extra juicy. So without all this talking, I'm already hyped and I'm already excited and I'm already feeling good. Let's get, get down to some of these wings and let's fry this up real quick. I know I just showed you this last video, but first off, before we get rolling, well, we can let the oil get hot and chop off the rest, uh, rest of our ingredients. We're just gonna section the wings real quick. And of course, we wanna keep our, uh, our tips just for our chicken stock. And just give it quick down the middle. Follow your bone once you split it. Just like that, no big deal. All right, we, I'm gonna finish these up real quick and I'm gonna get them seasoned up. We're gonna get our oil nice and hot and I'm gonna show you the um, ingredients we're gonna use to make this sauce. All right, just like we did on the last round, we're gonna uh, season up our chicken real quick. You know, the last time all we did was use a little bit of garlic powder. This time we're gonna use probably, say half, half a tablespoon of garlic powder. We're gonna go with half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We're gonna go with half a tablespoon of black pepper. And just about a third of a tablespoon of salt. Just like before, we're just gonna get these all mixed up. We got our oil uh, warming up. Now I'm about to get the, uh, the uh, ingredients chopping. We're just gonna let this get in the refrigerator real quick and let it marinate while we get these um, the oil nice and hot and the uh, the sauce going for the chicken. Okay, so you can see right here, this is all we're gonna be chopping up to add to things. Uh, we're not even really chopping this. This is the juice of one sour orange right here. You'll find these in Miami all over the place. You can find them in any of your local groceries most of the time. Um, we got the juice of one lime also, and I got the zest of one lime. I got a bunch of cilantro right here, which will probably come out to be about maybe a teaspoon and a half, maybe two, I mean a tablespoon or two tablespoons possibly. Let me see in one second. So I'm gonna go with uh, two tablespoons of cilantro right there. We want this to be nice and vibrant. And then we got one jalapeno. We're not taking the seeds out because I want to bring that heat like I said. We're just gonna quarter it and slice them down. I like big chunks, you know, I like big chunks and I cannot lie. Either way, we're gonna get these uh, chopped up.
And those are basically gonna break down in the sauce anyway, so it really doesn't matter how, how bad that you do chop them. And then we're gonna dice up this mango right here, one mango. It's a nice and ripe mango right here, so it's a little bit more trickier to um, peel. Usually when they're a lot less ripe, you can use your um, potato peeler sometimes. But either way, mangoes in general, they're a little slimy to work with. And then we're just gonna run down the pit. Our pit runs about this way. You all, you gotta feel where the pit goes, there we go. And as you can see, this is all we're chopping up. The rest is all sauce. So let's get that going and let's get our wings in the oil real quick. Alrighty, now we got our pan nice and hot. We're gonna start our sauce, uh, get that simmering. Then we're gonna get our wings going. Our oil is just about right there. Uh, first off, some of our chicken stock. We're gonna do like a cup and a half. And let's do two cups. Give about three quarters of a cup of apple juice. We're gonna do about a third of a teaspoon of garlic, chopped garlic. And then we're just gonna top it with just about a tablespoon of any old any old barbecue sauce, whatever your favorite one is. We just want this to be a little light. Because trust me, once we add our other flavors to it, you're gonna see how this all comes together. From there, we're gonna go ahead and throw in our orange, sour orange. Sour oranges have a lot of pit, so if you got a, uh, a citrus squeeze, go ahead and use one of those because they catch it all, or use a um, use a colander and squeeze the juice out, but you're gonna get a nice handful of seeds like that. But the juice is worth it, especially fresh juice. I got the, got the pre-made stuff in the refrigerator. We're gonna probably use a couple tablespoons of that because we're only getting a few, uh, about maybe two tablespoons of juice out of this orange right here. We're gonna go in with our lemon. I mean, excuse me, our lime, our lime. And then we're just gonna add our lime zest, our mango, cilantro, and jalapeno. While this starts to come up to a uh, simmer, we're gonna go ahead and get our chipotle chop. All we're gonna do to add to this is add about three three quarter cans of uh, chipotle's with their adobo sauce. All right, real quick, we just I got some beautiful green onions here. We're just gonna chop these because we're just gonna top off our wings with uh, some green onion at the end. And then after I get done with these, we're gonna get our chipotle's in. Get those cut up and get those going. And we are three quarters of the way done, buddy. And then right here we're getting our chipotles going. Oh, we got some nice ones in this can, bro. Chipotle's ain't nothing but smoked jalapeno, so it goes right along with the jalapeno that I already put in, and that's what's gonna make this nice and spicy. And like I said, that's about three quarters of a can right there. We're just gonna chop these up and then get these in our little uh, liquid there that we got going. I saved the messy part till the end. 
Our sauce just now started simmering too, so this goes in right in time. All right, as you can see right here, we got our chipotles and our sauce. We're just gonna get this mixed up real quick. And then we're gonna throw in our spices and then we're just gonna let this come to a good simmer for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna check where we're at to see if we have to add anything else. But while we do that, we're gonna get our wings into the uh, fryer right now because our oil is just about ready to go. So let's get some spices in here and get all this working and then let's uh, finish this up, baby. Let's see where we're at with this. It's only been a couple minutes. I just want to see how far of our flavors that we need to play with. If you reduce this right now and just use this the way it is, it's spicy as hell, it's good enough the way that it is. But like I said, I'm bringing the heat tonight. And this ain't even really it. We're going with half a teaspoon of cayenne, a little extra touch of black pepper, just a teaspoon. And like I said, this is fine just the way it is. We're just gonna let this sit, marinate, marry, bathe together, soak up, get to know each other. All of this is doing good. So we're not gonna mess with that too much. And then right here, like I said, it's about our oil is just fine. I got our chicken wings right here. Since they cook at more of an even time, we're gonna go with our drumettes first. Alrighty now, so we got all our drumettes in the, in the water. But, I mean in the oil, I'm sorry, excuse me. It's gonna be about, uh, say about a little less than 10 minutes, maybe eight to nine minutes, because like I said, we're gonna finish off in our sauce. So we'll let these go for about a good eight, nine minutes and we'll come back to see where we're at temperature wise. All right, as you can see, our sauce is nice and reduced. It's uh, just simmering enough, ready to cook up the rest of these bad boys. These bad boys are just finishing up. Finishing up right now, we're gonna get these out the oil. They're nice and crispy. And they're about 85% of the way cooked. And we're gonna finish off the rest in the oven. I mean, I'm sorry, in the pan. And we're gonna go ahead and get these flats working. It took about all in all, it took about 13 minutes because I had to put up the oil. Because you know, just like with anything, you have to, uh, as soon as you put cold stuff inside a hot fryer, they bring down the temperature. So you had to play with the temperature, turn it up a little bit, let them, let them brown and crisp and get golden like that. And then, um, like I said, you just adjust it and monitor it. We're gonna go ahead and get these flats in working real quick. And uh, yeah, let's get this tossed up and let's see what they do. And let's get this little uh, secret recipe right here in the corner just hanging out being uh, a little sinister. We're gonna get that boy going and all this too. Let's see what this all works. All right, we're getting our flats in right now. And as soon as these cook, these shouldn't take these shouldn't even take eight to nine minutes. These cook a lot faster than the uh, drumettes. But once we get all these done, we're gonna go ahead and get our boys in, in there for about five minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, toss it and get it on a plate. And then we're gonna sit down and have some fun with these bad boys because um, my mouth is already watering. I can barely even talk and it's hard to talk already as it is with all this, all this uh, good stuff happening. So let's get this going and uh, See what it all turns out to be. All right, here goes the best part, baby. We go ahead and put our wings in our sauce. It's done all the work it's needed to do. It's like right there perfect. So we, all we gotta do is cook the wings in here. The little extra juice that the wings add is gonna make a big difference also. So we're gonna get those nice and coated. We're just gonna let this cook for a little while. Like I said, five to 10 minutes. Let it finish doing what it does, cooking them and getting up the temperature. And then we're gonna go ahead and get nasty with these bad boys. See what they come out tasting like in there. All right, see you in 10. All right, as you can see right here, this is our final product. Our wings cooked down, nice. They're all, man, they're so luscious and sticky and oh my goodness. All right, that's our heat wings. These are nice and beautiful just the way that they are. They're spicy, they're sweet, they're tangy. I mean, they got great flavor just, just the way that they are. I'm gonna sit down and show you. But then I got these. These are what I mean by bringing the heat. See, I got these two put to the side and I got some of this right here. If you can read, 
read that, that says Private Reserve, 2012, and it's numbered 3,321. Now this is, I'm not sure if this is Blair's or Dave's, but this is a Private Reserve special sauce. This is about a few million Scovilles. So uh, let's see, this is for the heat winning the night. We're gonna go do two of these bad boys. So let's sit down and uh, see how this all came out. Alrighty, now is a moment of truth. We about to get dirty. Dirty south, baby. Um, you might have some, some wing sauce left over after you take your wings out. <clears throat> you could either add more sauce to this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that once you taste these, you're gonna find out there's plenty, plenty, plenty of flavor up in here. So you'll have a little bit of sauce left over. The best thing to do with that is add a little chicken stock and then just go mix it all up and put it in your fridge till the next time you wanna make something Man, you can make some fried shrimp and toss that in there. I mean, you can you can use that for a whole bunch of different things. You can use it for fish, chicken, whatever. Whatever you feel like using it for. Be the way to kill all the noise, let's get down to these bad boys. Let's see what this is all about. So we got our sauce, you know, the mango, the, all the flavors that we put in there. We got sweet, tangy, salty, spicy. We got all five flavors up in here. So we're gonna see what's going on with these bad boys. And then we're gonna get over to this real quick. And then we're gonna see what's up with this one. So let's see how these came out though. I'm excited, all right? Excited to share it with you. Right off the bat, I'm telling you, like someone like me, they're not too spicy. If you like spicy, this is perfect spicy for you. But now we're done with these, let's move on. I'm get back into these. Let's move on to these bad boys right here. <clears throat> All right, so you already seen the sauce and I explained it to you. This ain't no joke. This is, you know, if you like that show Hot Ones, where they gradually move up in spices and then they get to the last dab at the end and stuff, this is probably holiday than all of those last dabs they have. And we're not just going with a dab, we're gonna we're gonna taste it because I'll be talking shit about being that chili head. I gotta eat my words, man. I ain't, I, I walk it like I talk it, so. I ain't putting no dab, I'm gonna put some sauce on there, baby. So you can see that has a lot of sauce, nice and mixed in. Let's get it nice and uh, tossed on each other. Now. This is the reserve special edition. I don't even want to say super hot, cause super hot ain't got nothing on this. This is uh, extreme, but let's see what's up. Mm. I'm really sweating. We didn't even finish chewing yet. Okay. <coughs> this is where the hiccups and the burps come in. <coughs> Talking about hot. That ain't no bullshit. I ain't screaming, I ain't going, I ain't making. Making a big deal out of this. <laughs> but I do need something to help, help with the burps. I'll be right back. Okay. It's been about three minutes. I did have to get a little bit of uh, heavy whipping cream. Because that's the only thing that I know that I use that whenever I get the hiccups and the burps and when that hot hot stuff starts kicking in, that just, I could care about I could care less about the sweats, the burning. And like right now I feel like I just took a shower. But it's when you start burping and hiccuping at the same time. That shit catch you. Why would I do this? Because I've been doing this since I've been a little kid. I've always been a chili head. I always push myself when it comes to extremes. It doesn't matter if it's food or living life. So I've always done that. And just to show you I'm a knucklehead, look at this bad boy right here. See that? It looks like almost like blood. Should the heat 
win the finals, make it to the finals, and win the finals. <clears throat> I think that's thunder, bro. But uh, either way, we'll make another batch of wings. We'll make a whole different other flavor. They'll be spicy and stuff. But this stuff, you think this stuff was hot? It's hot, don't get me wrong. Usually when hot sauce tastes like shit, that just means that there's burn coming in afterwards. This is pure. This is oil. This is the color of blood. Should the Heat win the finals and we make history, we'll make another batch and I'll douse another few up in here. Like I said, you think that was hot, that ain't got nothing on this, but. But like I said, no matter what it is, don't ever be afraid to push yourself to the extreme, man. Some people do it every day at their jobs. Some people do it having fun. Some people do it for recreation. Other people do it to challenge themselves and, and whatever. As long as you challenge yourself, don't ever be afraid to go to the extreme. When you're working with other people, you gotta understand other people might not be as extreme as you, so you gotta think about the others around you. But whenever you're challenging yourself, take that shit to the extreme, man. Have fun with it. It's gonna be something you're always gonna remember. Who gives a goddamn about image, man? It's all about being with each other and enjoying yourself, all right? So I'm getting back to finishing the, the nice wings. I'm done with these bad boys. I cleaned the bone and I had my little my little area right here, the other day. he's good. But we gonna get back into these. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of these. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if there's anything that was cool, please like and subscribe. Please share it. I'm sweating like, sweating. Oh boy, I don't want to get into the sayings and shit. But if there's anything cool, please share it. Um, like I said, man, only things that matters in this world as long as you treat people the way that you want to be treated. Don't be afraid to have fun. As long as it ain't hurt nobody else, ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. So this for me was fun tonight. I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed sharing with you, man. It was a great time. I love you guys. I uh, hope tomorrow is going to be just as good as yesterday, man, if not better. So make the most of what you got, bro. All right? Love you guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you on the next video. Real quick, I know the video's over, homie, and everything, and everything worked out beautifully. Um, I know it seemed a little bit, a little bit like chaotic for a second. I just want you to understand. I want you to see this. See this real close. You know, if you can read this. All it tells you on the bottom is to say you gotta use one drop at a time. That's what it's meant for. You see it's a reserve from 2012. This is eight year old hot sauce that, that's been sitting doing what it does. That's why I said it's several million Scovilles. I'm just saying this because I don't want any of y'all to think, oh, let me go out there and get some crazy, crazy hot spicy shit and go ahead and start eating or whatever like that. Like I told you, I'm used to it. Like I said, if it's a challenge and you want to challenge yourself, that's one thing. But I don't advise you to do it if you're not familiar with it. So don't go out there and hurt yourself and then try to blame it on me because that ain't happening. i let y'all know ahead of time. I'm a chili head. You might not be. But I just wanted to give a good example because I was bringing the heat tonight, baby, just like the heat brought it to them boys. So it was just a great night, and I just wanted to get that out there and clear it up because I don't want nobody to hurt themselves. All right? But... Uh, we're all good now. So other than that, I love you guys. Have a good night, man.